Albert Pujols, he's the newest member of the 500 home run club, 26th member, 35 years old, tons of milestones here. What does this all mean for baseball? This means Albert Pujols, one, is healthy because a lot of people were wondering, was he going to be able to hit 500 before even June? That's because of what we saw last year in him. Not healthy, his legs didn't have, didn't have a good knee, didn't have good uh, plantar fasciitis. Now he is healthy, he is driving the ball to all parts of the field. He's not done. 500 is not the end of Albert Pools. We're going to see a lot more. And what it means for baseball, basically, is that the slugger is back. And it is a huge thing, not only for the Angel fans, but for the entire Major League Baseball fans. He's the first player to hit 499 and 500 career home runs in the same game. That being said, you're going to his health. You're saying this is, this is a healthy Albert Pujols. What do you mean by that? How can you tell that he's healthy? Well, last year, I was on the bench with the Houston Astros as a bench coach. I would see a perfect angle from him from the first base side of the dugout, both at home and on the road. And you could tell that he was not using his legs at all. He had no weight on the, on the backside, and then he could not transfer his weight to get that thrust, to get that power, to be able to drive the ball from right center field to left center field. Now he does. He is doing a nice job of keeping the bad head through the zone and not just hitting it over there, but driving it over there and using those legs. You need legs. If you don't have legs, you cannot hit a baseball with authority. That's what Tony Gwynn said. What separated him from Albert Pujols, what separated Albert Pujols from Tony Gwynn was that Albert had more strength in his legs and also in the upper body. Now you said you saw that last year as a bench coach with the Astros. You were his teammate, Albert Pujols' his teammate, 2002-2003 with the Cardinals. When you first saw him hit a home run as his teammate, what was your reaction? Well, it's not the home run that I saw. It's in the meetings what I really heard and saw. We would go over the pitchers in, in pitchers meeting, uh, the opposing pitchers, and we're talking all about what they're going to do, are they going to throw inside the repertoire that we're going to face that day? And Albert would take it to a next level. This was after his first year in the big leagues. Scott Rowland, the first time he got traded to St. Louis, he was like, oh, my goodness, I cannot believe how smart this guy is. He has the sixth sense as a hitter. He really knows how to study and set up a pitcher to the best of anybody that I played with.